Good morning all. In this set of videos we're going to go over joints and basic movements and then talk about skeletal muscle tissue. So we'll start here with an introduction to joints. Following this video I'd like you to be able to define a joint, describe the function of joints, describe the major components of joints, define ligaments, and describe joint classification. So joints are com coming together of two bones, but in normal states, these bones do not touch. What's one type of tissue you might find covering the ends of those bones? So one type of tissue here is hyaline cartilage, and that's the articular cartilage found on the articular surfaces of bones. We see other structures between the two bones which support the joint, and we'll talk about each of those throughout this set of videos. So joints are involved in movement, and the structure of a joint will determine the amount of movement available between two bones. So some joints will move freely, like our shoulder or hip, and while others won't allow any movement at all. So another function of joints is to facilitate growth, and this brings us back to our favorite epiphyseal plates, where we see the endochondral ossification taking place to grow the bone in length. Now all joints will have a few structures in common. The smooth articular surfaces of the bones found here are often covered in that articular cartilage. And remember, this is hyaline cartilage. Now ligaments both help keep the bones articulated and together, as well as potentially limit the freedom of movement at that joint. And these, you can see, are connecting bone to bone. Now, some joints also have these fibrocartilage structures, like this one here and this one here in the knee, which help create a better fit between the two bones. Depending on the discipline, different classifications of joints are used. In the context of this anatomy course, we will focus here on the structural classification. This uses the type of tissue that connects the bones to categorize them. So fibrous joints are connected by fibrous connective tissue, cartilaginous through cartilage, and synovial joints through a fluid-filled joint capsule. Of the three, synovial joints are the most common type in our body, so we'll talk quite a bit about them, and we'll have a whole video about the components, including that joint capsule. The other major joint classification is functional, which is based on the range of motion of a joint. The most common of these is a diarthrosis, arth here referring to joint, and these are freely movable joints. So they often overlap here with synovial joints. As we talk about joints, it's important to keep in mind that the more mobile a joint is, the less stable it is. So the shoulder, for instance, is a synovial joint and a diarthrosis. It's the most mobile joint in the body, but also the most unstable. So for our first question, which is found covering the articular surfaces of bones? Is it dense, regular connective tissue, elastic cartilage, fibrocartilage, or hyaline cartilage? So pause so you can choose your answer, maybe write out something you remember about each of the answer options. So where do we find each of these tissues? Well, let's start with dense, regular connective tissue. What does this make up? So that'll make up ligaments that are connecting bones to other bones and tendons connecting muscles to bones. Now, do we find elastic cartilage in joints? Nope, we don't. <laughs> How about fibrocartilage? We're getting closer, but these are going to be more supportive structures that aren't in all joints, but we find them in, find them frequently. Now, what about hyaline cartilage? There it is. So this is that articular cartilage. And 
And we'll remember from the bone videos that this is hyaline cartilage that's a remnant of what type of ossification? So that's a remnant of endochondral ossification. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your attention, and I will see you in the next video.